Oh, Haseo, congratulations on your three-rank sweep! Oh, right. Haseo, please listen to what I have to say! You see, Haseo, I've been following you in your battles for a long, long time in this tournament. And I've been match announcer for most of my adult life, but I've never had this much difficulty announcing a competition. I won't say who, but there was a guildmaster who wouldn't listen to what anyone said. And a young guildmaster who got so lost in the matches he ignored commentating. And a buzzball who tried to solve tiny things with a big, ugly attitude. That one was scary. Next, although he started out with an excessively technical commentary, we thought we finally had the right person. But that person talked as leisurely as could be without any signs of stopping. And then, in the Demon Palace title match, there was a man with a giant left arm who showed up out of nowhere and then vanished with just as little warning. I guess he was best suited for commentary. A demon palace full of surprises! I was sure this wouldn't happen again at the Holy Palace. Even though I paired the announcers down to one. He left partway through or got drunk or got scolded by his better half. Not a single worthwhile announcer among them. I thought I would have my next chance at the Sage Palace. I was wrong. You see... He jumped in and announced in my place. He was even more flamboyant than me. That man with an even better performance than mine, who won more spectators to his side than I. Where could he have gone to? R right. You had it pretty rough too, didn't you? In any case, I can now finally step down from the stage. Naturally, I will be the announcer for the next tournament. So then, Haseo, may we meet again next time. <laughs>